folks, using the Summit TX25 tractor today with a 48 inch box blade behind it from Dirt Dog. If you follow along the channel, you know that we've been building out our gravel driveway and along the fence line here, it's a steep drop off. Everything's tapering uh, down kind of sideways along the edge and it's so, oh, I don't know. What do you think, Chris? Two foot at some points at the worst, yeah. And uh, need to build up with some topsoil and gradually taper that down. I don't want to have a vehicle randomly falling off the edge or it just seems like an accident waiting to happen. I want to clean that up a bit. So brought in a bunch of topsoil, a hundred yards actually. Um, I spread the first 10 with the skid steer. They dropped that off by itself just to kind of get an idea of how much we would need. I think we have enough now with hundred yards. So we're going to spread some dirt today with the box blade, show you how that does and see how it's a good match on a tractor like the TX25, a 25 horsepower compact tractor, uh, the small frame compacts, um, you know, it's bigger than a 1025R, bigger than a Kubota BX, for example, smaller than a 2032R, smaller than uh, an LX 3310 or 3320, whatever their new model is now too, that kind of thing. So kind of sandwiched in between there, sort of like a John Deere 2025R, uh, same tire size, I believe, but the Summit is gonna be a lot heavier. Um, it's got the R14 tires on there that I love, really great all-purpose tire. I've put those on some other tractors too. But pay attention today, because it's the first time I'm using the hydraulic top link that we just got installed on the TX25. Comes standard with the rear remote on there, and I had a manual top link on there, and uh, had, a, had a, uh, um, a viewer reach out and say they added on this top link off of Amazon, so I went out and bought one, just got it added on, and it works great, especially with a tool like a box blade. Yeah, sometimes you wanna run that box blade level, sometimes you wanna have it tilted back so it's not digging down and being so aggressive, sometimes you wanna have a rock forward so it is aggressive. So it depends what you wanna do with it, but to have that flexibility on the fly from the operator seat with just a push of a, a lever either way to adjust that angle of attack is super convenient. If you're wondering what that orange wrap is around those hydraulic hoses though, that is from our discount club partner Outback Wrap. You can save 10% with code GWT on their website. It's cheap stuff, even cheaper with that discount. I try to put it around all the hoses that I can. It's just a, a good way to protect them. Now, full disclosure, I'm not 100% sure how this was gonna go uh, moving a pile of dirt like this. And I figured I would start with just a single standalone uh, 10 yards that they dropped off and tackle that. And then maybe hit the rest of it after afterwards. But it's a tall pile, right? It's on an uneven surface. It kind of dips down from the driveway and then back up into the pile. There's just not a flat level surface. And so I am really big on tractor safety and being aware of your surroundings and all that kind of thing. And I don't like to be in an uncomfortable spot. So I'm kind of shifting my way around different sides of that pile, um, trying to find the most stable footing, the most, um, well, most reassurance I can give myself. And it does help that this tractor is really heavy too. It, it, it makes you feel like you're planted to the ground, but I'm saying this in general to be aware of it as an operator. You don't want to pick up a big scoop of dirt, have it, you know, three feet in the air and driving around on an uneven surface and then, oops, I hit a pothole and tip over. That's just a bad spot. So constant awareness as an operator is key. And so that's why it looks like I'm kind of fumbling around there in the beginning, trying to just kind of knock that pile down uh, to a manageable level as safely as possible. Good question that uh, Chris brought up at the end of the video. Um, I'm gonna tell you about it now though is, you think you could have just used your bucket for that whole thing and potentially, but it would have taken a lot longer to do so. Um, I will use my bucket a lot with skid steer and that's how I spread the first 10 yards with the skid steer. But on a tractor, I just feel like it's a little bit different. Um, a skid steer just handles, everything about a skid steer is different and I love skid steers, but we're talking tractors today. So the box blade really pulls that material where you need it to go. Um, which is the right way to do it in my mind versus trying to push it with a bucket that doesn't have, you know, well, I'm not trying to dig in with the bucket. I got that, that front edge rocked back. So I'll just kind of push it and skim it and finish it off with that at the end. But to push and pull material where you want it to go, a box blade is a lot more efficient to do that on a tractor. Now, bear in mind, that's just one guy's statement. You'll see in the comments section, I'm sure a thousand different responses on uh, preferred preferences, techniques, tools, all that kind of thing. And you need this, you don't need this and whatever else. You just got to decipher all that kind of information and, and figure out what you want to do. But a box blade has been one of the staples of tractor owners for like forever, since like the dawn of time. So 
It's, and it's for good reason too. They're just a versatile, simple piece of equipment uh, that you can do a lot of work with. So quick word on how you match the size of a box blade to your tractor. Again, we're using a 48 inch wide box blade on the Summit TX25. Um, this tractor is heavy, all right? And so that's good and bad. I, I, well, I don't know if it's bad. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but it's heavy meaning that you're stable. You get more traction, more power to the ground, but it's also, if you have a full load of material, I think a 60 inch would be too big. You might just kind of lug the tractor down a bit too often and that might be, become frustrating. So I think a 48 inch, which really matches up with the width of this tractor, is the right tool. If you have a 2025, you could potentially, if you have that tractor weighted down with a bit more weight, uh, get by with a 60 inch. That tractor's a lot lighter than this one here. So it depends what you want to do. I like this setup better us out of the factory, um, but that's why we're matching a 48 inch on here. A 48 is great for subcompacts too. You get to something like a Kubota L LX uh, 3310, the John Deere 2032R, um, the John Deere 3032E. If you're looking at tractors in that general size range there, a 60 inch is a great fit. Bump it up to something like a John Deere 3039R, uh, Kubota Grand L 4060, that kind of thing. You have an option, 60 or 72 inch, and then you get to the big daddies of the compact world, the L6060, the 4066R, those big guys that are about six foot wide. You can definitely use a 72 inch on there and you can also use an 84 inch. Dirt Dog is made in America right down in Georgia, so we are proud to work with them. Been working with them for several years now. We order select models, select sizes from um, their collection. We can order other things as well, but they're gonna have a longer lead time. Uh, we're working on seeing if they can ship customer direct on those special order items. Right now they can't, um, but we're, we're seeing what we can do there. So be aware, if you wanna order something like, if you can plan, you know, in the fall for what you want in the spring, that would be great because we can get that in on our order that we put in with them and have it delivered at the same time with the rest of our equipment. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Folks, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. We have another, well, we have a lot of new tools coming out, but I think once we get this dirt all spread out, I've got a drag haro that mounts right into a receiver. It rolls up and locks in place. So when you don't need it, it's out of the way. I think we might try that that out on here just as i don't know it's just dirt we'll just drive around on it and see what happens but stick around for that subscribe if you haven't already and if you do enjoy our videos we have over 600 other videos out there so take your time and browse through those now if you're looking for something for your tractor something like a box blade or an add a grapple or all sorts of other things check out our website goodworkstractors.com we ship all over the country prices include shipping rewards and financing too i want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon